Okay, so I'm using a Graco hopper. You can get them at any of the big box stores or paint stores. And also a pancake compressor. It's just a small compressor. So you can use all the air out of it when you're spraying orange peel if you're doing too big of an area. I like to mix the joint compound to a pancake batter consistency. You want to be able to pour it out of the bucket into the hopper. So just thin it down with water until it's pourable. Then you want to turn your air pressure all the way up on your compressor to about 120 PSI. And I like to start spraying all the smooth repaired areas first before I blend into the existing orange peel. Now you want to keep your hopper moving in a circular motion and you don't want to stay in one place too long or it's going to pile up. Had to fill up a little more orange peel mix. Put the pressure all the way up on high. Keep that hopper moving in a circular motion. You want to get total coverage with this orange peel texture. Get it real good in the corner and then blend it out into the existing. I call it feathering. You want it to gradually go to nothing into the existing orange peel. You're going to feather it out a little bit all the way over to the door. Side note, I used a 0.31 mil plastic to cover the doors and windows. Check it out. See how the mix is just pouring out of the bucket? That's what you want. If it's too thick, you're going to get more of a knockdown texture. All right, going to finish this off. You always want to stop and look over the repaired area, see if you missed any spots or if it's a little thin in an area. Keep that circular motion going. You want to feather it out into the existing now. We're going to nothing. It's a gradual. Once the compressor starts running out of air, you don't want to keep spraying because it's going to be bigger blobs. You want to keep high pressure at all times. All right, there it is. The water damaged wall is repaired. I've applied the orange peel texture and also installed some new baseboards. Now it's up to the homeowners to prime and paint. I always recommend a Zinsser 123 for a primer and then your favorite flavor of paint. Let me know in the comments what kind of drywall repair you're working on or if you have any questions about this video. I'm Paul Peck and I'll see you in the next video.